everyone, this is Lulu from As You Wish Pottery. Today we will be painting the spiderweb candy bowl. Here's the supply list. Feel free to pause this section and take notes. Let's get started. We will begin our project by using skinny masking tape. Using the skinny masking tape, tape two lines on each side of the inside of the bowl and take long pieces to create an asterisk. There should be six lines per spiderweb. With smaller pieces, begin to create a connecting circle from the center of one of the asterisks and then continue cutting pieces that match in size and paste them onto the bowl. Here, I'm adjusting a piece of tape that clearly belong in another row. When you reach halfway on the first spiderweb, begin cutting smaller pieces for the second spiderweb. Make sure to meet them halfway. Now we are working with longer pieces of tape. These pieces can now be curved to create the spiderweb effect. Make sure you secure your lines as you set them down. You want no gaps in between the pottery and the tape. Your bowl should finish looking something like this. With a round sponge, sponge Tweety Bird from the top, then Water Yolk, Orange Peel, and Orange Crush. To create the ombre effect, go ahead and repeat the steps before and sponge all the colors once again. Using a pencil, sketch the label and spiders outside of the bowl. Using three coats of black lab and a liner brush, go ahead and paint the rim of the label. Then move on to a medium round brush and paint three coats on the rest of it. Use a medium sized sponge on a stick to paint the body of the spiders wherever they were drawn. Using four different size sponges on a stick, sponge Tweety Bird, Water Yolk, Orange Crush, and Orange Peel dots all around the outside of the bowl. Now for the fun part. The inside should be dry enough to remove the tape. Begin from the corners and work your way into the center. Remove all the pieces. Use a black lab fun writer to give the spiders their legs, the hanging web, and to dot a rim on the sponged circles. Use white puffy paint to give each spider a happy face.
Give the label a swirly border. Use a pencil to sketch the writing and go over with white puffy paint. I wrote upside down to make it a little easier for the viewer to see what I was doing. Um, also because it's really fun to write upside down. <laughs> to finish the bowl, use a round sponge and black lab to paint the rim. And here you have it, a bowl ready for a sweet night.